Well, so Fletch, hooty hoo. I'm gonna tell another JD story. I'm gonna tell a story about how Charmin Toilet Tissue became his sponsor. Now, anybody that spent any time with old JD and was in the boat with him, they always heard about the sponsor, Charmin Toilet Tissue. He was always filming everybody. He had him a video camera that his old buddy, Dr. Tullis, gave him. And he followed everybody around with that video camera. And when he got done, he'd say, I'm going to turn it over to our sponsor, Charmin Toilet Tissue. And this is how it all happened. Well, old J.D. and I was down on Lake Sam Rayburn in the old piney woods of East Texas. And it was the year after I had finished second in the uh, Bassmaster uh, tournament down there where I'd caught 64 pounds and got beat by Randy Dearman by just a little bit, almost pulled it off. Uh, but J.D. wanted to go the next year. So we was down there. And we was doing the same old thing. We was jerking an old rogue over the grass, and we was catching some good ones, you know, and having a good time. And uh, got J.D. out there over the grass after I'd been up shallow, and um, he'd been throwing a floating worm up there around them bushes. And, hell, we was catching two-pounders. And I said, I said, Dad, two-pounders ain't going to do us no good down here. I said, we got to catch, we got to catch five-pounders down here, you know, fours and fives and sixes, or, or we might as well head back to misery. Cause they ain't, we ain't going to get no check catching them little old babies. But he was having a ball throwing that old chartreuse worm around them bushes. So I pulled out there out in the ditch over some grass, a drain that led up there, you know, to, to the bank that, you know, was kind of an old staging spot. So I got out there and he had that worm on and that grass was down under the water about six foot. And I said, Lord almighty, JD, I said, you are never going to catch a bass on that floating worm over the top of that grass. And I had no more said that, and he threw that thing out there and jerked that worm on top, and kaboom! And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm never going to hear the end of it. And so J.D. went to thrashing and the banging and the flopping around and the fighting this big old bass and got him in. And Lord Almighty, that thing weighed almost nine pounds, and I had to eat my words. I had told him not to throw that dead gum worm out there over the top of that grass. He threw it out there and caught him. And do you think that I didn't hear about it the rest of the whole dead gum trip? One of the biggest bass he'd ever caught in his life. So we get that bass in, and you know, he's just ripping on me and giving me a hard time. And I've just about had enough of it. And um, he'd given me such a hard time, I, I, I got a pain. I had to go to the bathroom. So it, it, it loosened something up in me. So I said, J.D., I'm going to have to go up here in the back of this pocket and go to the bathroom. And so, you know, back in the day, you know, everybody knows me. They know that, you know, I cut logs for the sawmill when I wasn't guiding or wasn't fishing tournaments. So J.D. was, you know, poking and prodding around at me about that. So I had to go to the bathroom, pulled up there in all them pine trees, walking up through the woods, and he's giving me a hard time about walking up through the woods looking at the pine trees, wanting to check out what the pulp wood was, that maybe I'd come down there and start logging down there in East Texas and leave, you know, southwest Missouri. And so I'm up there in the woods quite a while. I had one of them deals that did, didn't come out quite the way you wanted it to, so I had to take a little set and spell. And um, so I was up there a while, and I come rolling back off the hillside, and J.D.'s talking the whole time. I'm walking out of the woods, and I still got the video where he's got it on me. He's got the video on me, and I'm walking down the hill, and I got a roll of Charmin toilet tissue in my hand. And, and, I, and he said, how's that pulp wood look up there? You reckon we can make a living down here? About that time, I threw that toilet paper in the front of that boat, you know, and it just rolled out just perfect where the toilet paper laid there and rolled down through there. And J.D. said, Brought to you by our sponsor, Charmin Toilet Tissue. <laughs> so after that, every video he ever made, he said, brought to you by our sponsor, Charmin Toilet Tissue. So now you all know the rest of the story where he got his sponsors. I'm out.